Hey you guys, welcome back to my Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make another TNT cannon. Uh, this one's a little bit different than the other ones, and here's what you'll need. You'll need um, any kind of block, water, water bucket, a slab, this is recommended but not needed, redstone, TNT, a lever, button, or pressure plate. So the first thing you do is take your blocks and put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then put one here, just like that. You'll need that for the water, that's going to be very important, that's a vital step. So you end up this kind of deformed U. So you see this little thing right here? I'm going to put some water. And it should fit pretty perfectly, if you do this correctly. Um, next, you're going to make a second half, and just like that, uh, diagonal form. Do as many as you want. The more you do, uh, the more power, the more the TNT can will shoot. Just don't make it too powerful, it will screw up. Uh, and then just put slabs like all around here, because that just makes it look a lot better, and it, the water won't run all over the place when you do this. Um, and next, you want to place... Well, actually, you need to put two blocks here. You need to connect them with redstone, the two uh, sides, because that's the only way I'll get them to work. Alright, um, so that should work. I'm not sure what it's... There we go. And just do that. There we go. And so it has a nice kind of redstone tracing. Um, now, you need to get work with the levers. Just put a lever here. And this is a very important part. If you screw this up, it's not going to turn out well. For this, you need to load it up to know where the redstone's going to go. So it's loaded up like this. These are all the projectiles. You will shoot them all at once. It's pretty cool. And then you want to put TNT like this. I recommend not doing this because it will screw up the TNT again and that will connect. Um, and then you can just keep loading it. And this is the uh, ammo, if I may. So then what you want to do is do the same thing here. A little redstone trace. And uh, then do this. Go down. Oops. And you want to just go around and connect them. Look at that. So then you can place another leather, <laughs> lever. So uh, let's put this as close as possible. Right here. I want to be as centered. So, uh, we're about to shoot this thing and you're going to see why it's called the linear TNT can. That's all going to go off. And it shoots in a linear pattern, as you can see. Um, the shots range from here to here to here. Uh, some of them go quite far. Some of them might not even touch down, but uh, they go very far, and uh, it does a lot of damage. It's just it takes a lot of TNT, but it's de definitely uh, something you you may be able to make in survival uh, if you have enough TNT. So um, that's a linear TNT cannon. If you're wondering where I got this idea, well, I think I might have gotten something similar to it, very similar, just not quite the same. And I improved upon it. The the other one had this same thing, but it had no ammo, so it would just launch you. Uh, I decided to build this half and put that there and put the water there because otherwise it just self-destruct. So um, that's a linear TNT cannon. Uh, this has been a tutorial. Thanks for watching.